Today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite green salsas. It's tomatillo salsa. Now if you don't know what a tomatillo is, if you were to describe flavor, it's probably a cross between an apple and a tomato. It's got a nice acidity, it's got a little bit of sweetness, you can eat the entire thing, but you have to take the husks off first. So here I have cilantro, lime juice, onions, a little bit of jalapeno to add spice, sugar to add a little bit of sweetness if these are a little on the sour side, and salt just to open up your taste buds. So what I'm gonna do first is add a little water to make this blend nicely. And you don't want to puree it too much. You want to add nice body to the salsa. So we're going to lightly pulse this. So I'm just eyeballing it because I don't like to follow recipes. And you can tweak it however you want. If you want more tomatillos, add more. If you want more sugar, add more sugar. Some salt, a little bit of sugar. And cilantro is so important in this because it's going to be one of the layers of flavor. Fresh chopped cilantro. Can never have enough cilantro. All right, and then lime juice. This is really what binds the whole salsa together. All right, so we're gonna try this. We're gonna taste it once we've once we've gotten to the consistency. All right. Remember, don't over pulse it. Let's just be a little easy here. Chunky is okay. It's gonna be a beautiful green color. All right. So let's try this. Look at how beautiful that is. And this goes well on chips. Chicken tacos is great. Add a little jalapenos. All right, so this is awesome here. So I'm gonna taste this, probably add a few more. Oh my God, that's so good. I'm actually gonna add a little more tomatillos. And a little more lime juice. One more cilantro, go. This is fun. You never, following recipes is boring. All right, Let's pulse that one more time. There we go. All right, perfect. All right, pour that in. And it is a little juicy, so you can strain it a little bit and uh, make it a little easier to eat. Here, it's so beautiful. See the seeds in there? Oh my God, so awesome. You can use this for chips, you can put it on tacos. It goes well with everything. That is how you make my favorite green salsa.